let me show you how you could build your own computer. Okay, I have this box here. That's a box from the motherboard. Okay, I just remove it from it coming in this bag. It's very important to keep them. Okay, the motherboard is the computer. Okay, the most important thing here is to have a processor. I have my processor here, I'm gonna show it to you. It goes here with a big fan. Here is the memory. The memory goes over here. This is what a memory look like and fits right here. Okay, then this is where your power supply connect to. IDE cable, SATA for your hard drive. You would have IDE hard drive or SATA hard drive. I'll explain that to you in a little. This is USB, okay, and this thing have all the cable necessary. So out of the thing, out of the box, this is your okay. cable. Okay, these are the IDE cable, the flappy drive cable. You have your software that come with it. These are the drivers and different type of utilities, probably virus scan or different thing that they give you. And very important, you have the book to your motherboard. And the book has very good graphic that shows you uh, the motherboard itself where everything is located. Okay, so for now, then a hard drive, this is a hard drive, okay, is where the data is kept. So everything here together will constitute your computer. Let me show you the processor. I'm using an AMD dual core processor. Okay? Uh, straight out of the box. Okay, this is your microprocessor. That's an AMD processor. My goodness, this is the book to the processor. That's your certificate and everything. That's the big fan that's going to be cooling the processor. And finally, let me be elastic. Okay, now I have my processor in my hand, which I'm about to put on my motherboard. It's very easy. You look at the shape of the processor, you look at pin 1. At the edge here, they have a mark. Okay, and you look at where, because basically this sits right in here. Okay. You just drop it and it just go right up, fit right in. Okay, and here you lock. Okay, the most important part of a bot of this whole thing is keep it cool, because these processes get very hot. Okay, so what you use, you have a fan that come with the processor. Okay, in the back of the of the fan, there's this plastic protection, very important. That's why I'm struggling here. Okay. Okay, this is sitting here, and this is a lock. Boom. So my fan now is locked in. Where's the lock? Over here. Okay, now. Next thing to the fan is to put the fan power cord. There's a plug for this from the fan. This is where the fan power is connected. It's, there's a lot of outlet on these motherboards. Like some houses in New York who got no outlet. Okay, good. Boom. This is connected. Power. This thing truck with the microprocessor. The temperature is controlled. You see, most fans they have two wires. This have data in control. So this could actually turn off and turn on and go faster and and you know keep busy. Okay. So in this part we learn. Now we have a computer ready. All we have to do now is find a case to put it on. I got a case right here. Look at this case. This case is like a multimedia case. You could sit that right next to your cable box. And if you have the right motherboard, you could control your stereo, your everything. And it could even plug into your big screen. And your DVD player would be in there, your card reader, your MP3. I mean, this case has a lot of wires. 
these, this is your power supply, you got USB. It's a lot. But if you know what you're doing, it's nothing. Very important, this plate goes in the back of your PC. Okay, and so now this plate is going right here. Keyboard and mouse always on this side here. Okay. See something they go sometimes they go easy. So now we got our plate. Okay, now, this is the motherboard. These things are going to be coming out of these windows here. This is the complaint. So the motherboard goes in there. Boom. Okay, motherboard is in place already. Now we have a computer. Look at this. Okay, so now there's these screws we have to put. And these screws. Okay, so now I'm putting the screw drive, screw in the screw driver. I'm gonna screw the motherboard into place on a different angle, like a triangle, of course. So you know your board is aligned. Okay. So my board now got two screw holding it, so now no problem. So basically, some of those wires, I know what they are. That's a power wire. It goes right here on the motherboard. I'll put that. So you just put them. Okay, so once all your cables are connected, then this other big power cable here, this big board, this is your main power supply to the motherboard, on the motherboard. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the next thing here is where you put your hard drive. Okay, so now this is where you put your hard drive. Okay, the hard drive fit right here. Okay, the hard drive fit right in here. Uh, look at this cable plug into your hard drive. That's the power cord to your hard drive. Automatically, you could just push it in and put it right here. This is the space where your CD-ROM is on is going. Uh, with this system, this box. With this case, everything kind of. This is the power. No, this is the audio cable from the back of the CD ROM to the sound card. This cable plug into the CD ROM audio. Okay, this is the CD ROM, but in this computer, we don't use CD ROM, we use a DVD burner. Because the DVD burner bends a DVD and CD. So all new computers. The next one on the side here where you see that USB cable is the card reader. This is the finished case. Okay, as you could see, uh, it's flat. It fit on your wall unit in your living room. Okay. This door here, you could plug things in the front. You got two USB, one firewire. You got a microphone and a headphone uh, mini jack in the front. This is a door.